Yes, these are our winners for best editing. Congratulations, welcome, uh, sorry, to you both. Tom Cross and Elliot Graham. I'm sorry, I don't know which is which. I'm Tom. Tom, hello, lovely to meet you. Elliot. I'm sorry, we had to have the thing switched off during your speech, so we missed it. Um, first of all, how does it feel? How are you feeling about look, these enormously heavy statues in your uh, hand? Uh, I mean, I, it's a, it was a dream come true to work on a Bond film, so to be able to be here at the Royal Albert Hall and, and win this award with, uh, with Barbara Broccoli and Michael Wilson, Carry. I mean, it's it's just a dream come true. I, I, I'm just I'm in shock. So <laughs> it's heavy, and I feel like I have to work out. I'm, <laughs> um, it's a dream come true, especially this franchise and these people is very special. And does it feel extra special for being Daniel Craig's last go yes. as Bond? Yeah, it's a finale, really, yeah. isn't it? That was the responsibility we felt to to him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and and I I feel like I mean, even though he was not able to attend, I think he's he's doing a play. I think in New York. Uh, I mean, I felt his presence, you know, with the film clips, with Dame Shirley Bassey singing Diamonds Are Forever. I mean, I just, it was, uh, Daniel was in the air, so. I mean, here's the deal. Any film editor, any filmmaker of any kind wants to work on a James Bond film you grew up wanting to, we got to, and to be part of Daniel Craig's last one, who, there's Sean Connery, and they're all wonderful, but for us, Daniel Craig, it's very special. That's awesome. Have I got questions in the room? Yes. Two former James Bond editors who have also been directors are particularly uh, popular among the fans, John Glenn and Peter Hunt. Yes. Have they influenced your work in any way? Without a doubt. Even even before I, you know, when I was a kid, I watched James Bond movies. I didn't know their names. I didn't know who they were. Uh, I was very influenced by all James Bond movies. And uh, and when I became an editor, I looked them up and figured out who they were. So yeah, absolutely. And I. I, that's when we were up there accepting. I said I dedicate this my award to film editor Peter Hunt, um, who edited the first James Bond movie, Doctor No, 60 years ago. Without those movies, uh, I might not be here. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Tom, you've been nominated before. You know, does it feel better to win? He's uh, won before, I think. He's won before. I, he does, of I course. Won, yes, I, that's right. Uh, it, I mean, it, <laughs> I, you know, it's always, it's, it, this never, it never gets old, and you never know what's going to happen, and, um, you know, if, if you, if you uh, felt what I felt on that stage, I mean, I felt like my, my whole body and my voice was trembling because it was so emotional, because I was so in shock, and it's, you know, as a film editor, we're often invisible because our work is often invisible, so to be recognized, especially by BAFTA, um, and I'm a proud BAFTA member, that means the world to me. So how are you going to be celebrating tonight? Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Any, anywhere that'll let us in with this statue. Just wave it in people's faces. Excellent. Yeah. 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 Will you work on the next one? Do you know when it might start filming? Uh, I have no idea. I would love to. I hope we get to do it. I, I have no idea. We'll, we'll ask Rebel Wilson because she's playing. That's right. right. We're yeah. going to check with Rebel Wilson and we'll get back to you. Yes. Who do you think would make a good next Bond? You know, I honestly think uh, had he been 10 years uh, younger than Daniel, Idris Elba would be playing the next Bond, but as they're similar age, that's the thing. Uh, I don't know. Somebody amazing because Daniel's hard to follow. I, I defer to Michael Wilson and Barbara Broccoli to figure that out. They, they know what they're doing. Barbara, so. I have no idea. So. I'd like to know how were you chosen for this particular drop, or how did you get the drop? They looked for the cheapest editors available. <laughs> um, Tom, I well, uh, I mean, I, you had worked with Carrie before. You had collaborated with Carrie on *Beast of No Nation* and also in commercial work. Um, I had not worked with Carrie before, but I had recently edited a movie *First Man*, and I know that uh, Barbara Broccoli and Carrie uh, looked at that movie. Uh, to to look at Lena Sandgren's work, cinematographer's work, and I, I it's my understanding that maybe they were also looking at my work as well. Um, so I, I actually uh, I'm gonna have to we'll have to ask Carrie. I, I don't really know, but that's my educated guess. That was also a great movie, by the way. Any other questions in the audience? Oh yes, a couple of. What was the question? Sorry, the how, how, how difficult is it to cut bits of Daniel Craig out? Out. <laughs> uh, well, does, he get, does he try and get involved and say, I want to be... 
No, yeah. no. Well, well, I was going to say no. I, Daniel is is very has a lot at stake, but he's. Uh, I think he knows that Barbara and Michael uh, collaborate with really um, talented people, and that he really. I think he has a lot of respect for all the crafts, and that includes editing. And there are actors who are filmmakers who understand, you know, the process, and he's one of them. And he absolutely supports his collaborators, his directors, the producers, the writers. Um, you know, I'll tell a story that maybe we're not supposed to, but he came and watched a rough cut of the film by himself, uh, and and we were invited in a few minutes after the producers and Carrie, and 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 he was in tears. Um, because it was 15 plus years of his life, you know, and um, it meant that much to him. And he spent three days in the editing room with us and could not have been more of a gentleman. You know, he had suggestions, we tried things, if they worked, great, if they didn't, cool. He's a filmmaker. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm glad you asked that. I, I mean, I, I'm speaking for myself. I'm not a fan of it. Um, I think it uh, taints uh, the entire proceeding. I think it, it's, uh, it's not what the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences is about, uh, in my opinion. Um, I feel lucky to have attended before. Um, and uh, I just think that every Academy Award statue is gold. It's not silver. It's not bronze. And all of those nominees, all those people deserve to stand up yes. uh, the same way everyone else does. Is there any language that's inappropriate? <laughs> Walter Murch, the great editor, uh, uh, wrote a, it was it in the Hollywood Reporter? He wrote a letter um, after, at, about 10 years ago, the editing and various other, uh, you know, awards were shoved to the side and um, saying that's not okay. I think it's our turn to say that's not okay. And I grew up wanting to be an Academy member because it's that dream come true. And I think it's fucked up. And I think they need to think about that. Yeah, 100%, amen. Um, uh, well, just finally, I mean, uh, how are you planning to celebrate tonight, apart from the drugs? Mm. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> we're going to have a good time. We're going to have a drink. And we're going to hug our friends and family. That's what we're going to do. Awesome. Well, yeah. listen, thank you so much. Congratulations, Tom Cross, Elliot Graham. Your shoe is untied. It's stressing me out. Don't break your neck on the way off stage. My shoes always untie themselves. It's a very strange oh, no. thing. <laughs> but thank you so much and congratulations thank you so much. again. Appreciate Cheers. It. Thank you. Thank you.